So Elgato recently just dropped their new Facecam MK2, and I'm here to check it out. Now, before we start, I am an Elgato partner, so Elgato did send me the MK2. Now, this video, I do not send to them. They do not check it out and approve anything. So everything I say in this video is my own personal opinion. Here we go. Now, I can't show you exactly what the MK2 looks like in my hand because I am using it right now and I will be using it for the entirety of this video. But the sleek new design compared to the old face cam looks way better. They got rid of that weird looking neck thing that just looked absolutely hideous. So they made it more sleek, a nice design, lightweight compared to the old one. It actually resembles the slimness of the face cam pro. So obviously in the box, you have your MK2, your mount with the quarter thread, your USB-C, and your start guide. Now, if you're fresh to Elgato, you download your camera hub onto your PC, and then you hook up your face cam MK2. And if you're not, all you got to do is replace your old face cam with your MK2. Now, some of the upgraded features to the MK2 is true HD60 HDR quality ultra low latency and to make your colors pop and look absolutely amazing they're using the sony starvis cmos sensor you have an anti-reflective lens and now 84 degrees field of view which is not much compared to 82 on the previous og face cam but definitely helps when you have a nice background to show off on your stream now let's jump into the camera hub and check out some uh, features that they have upgraded from previously let's go so here in the camera hub i did tweak the contrast saturation and sharpness very slightly just to get the colors what you're seeing now but not much out of the box you have automatic exposure on and your white balance on i personally turned it off and i set my contrast saturation and sharpness to 74 degrees and then my sharpness to 65 just to get it a little sharper um, but as far as everything else, I left it. There's nothing else I did in OBS. This is straight out of the camera hub with no filters attached to it. So absolutely looks amazing. You know, compared to the OG face cam, it is a, a giant leap for webcams. So the good thing about the MK2 is not only is there a giant leap in quality, but they kept the same price. At $149.99, it is the same as the OG face cam now one feature that is cool that they did add for the new mk2 is the pan tilt zoom feature um now if you have a i believe it is a 2060 and above gpu you are able to use the pan tilt zoom if you have anything below that you are unable to um i am lucky enough to have a uh, 4070 so we can do this here obviously when you're zooming in it gets a little grainy because you are lowering the quality of the image when you zoom in but if you wanted to do something like this whoa whoa you definitely can i know i'm a goober <laughs> so that is another cool that's so that's one of the cool features that they added for the mk2 in the camera hub and with the stream deck you can make this experience a lot cooler so if you have some products in the back and you want to get creative with it check out my stuff and also reset back to the original picture so definitely dive into the camera hub software play with it and like i said if you have a stream deck this makes this experience way better now let's dive into the facecam mk2's features the supported resolution goes from 540p 30 frames per second all the way up to 1080p at 60 frames per second one of the cool supported resolutions is 720 at 120 frames per second the focus range is anywhere from 30 centimeters to 120 centimeters with an aperture of f 2.4 one of the new details in the facecam mk2 is the new sensor the sony starvis cmos so the sony starvis sensor does a lot better in low light conditions which is an absolute upgrade from the og facecam so if you don't have an amazing elgato key light or ring light then it definitely helps with your low light conditions. And like I said earlier, your connection is a USB type C and your mount is a quarter inch thread. 
so you can attach it to any of Elgato's mounts. Hey, and if you're looking to pick up a Facecam MK2 yourself, I will have an affiliate link down in the description below. Also here is my promo code to save you a little extra cash. Hopefully this video was useful to you. And if it was, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to share it. You never know when someone is in need of an upgraded webcam. And the Facecam MK2 is definitely a worthy upgrade. And as always, catch on the flip side.